The first step to minimalism doesn't really happen uh, automatically. If you truly are desiring to have that minimalistic life, and then you could call it anything, minimalism, simplism, or uh, as you wish, your own terms, but it doesn't all happen overnight. I have been fascinated with the process of becoming a minimalist and having the essentials that I need, nothing more, nothing less, because we're used to this concept of being consumers and uh, just buying stuff and not actually knowing how to use it, especially in the US. The market is based on making people buy stuff as holidays happen. We have Black Friday and right after that we have Cyber Monday. And all of these holidays and all of these days that have been placed is just placed around us to buy more stuff that we actually don't really need. I have so many stuff in my house, in my actual office that I never use but at the time when I was purchasing those stuff, I got sucked into the idea of uh, me needing it versus what purpose does it do. So it's really important that before we make the judgment of becoming a minimalist, understand the concept that is behind it, which is what do we want to get out of it? Do we want to get that lifestyle that basically you're bare bone and you're living on the floor and you're just eating off of one plate for the rest of your life? Well, certainly that's not the lifestyle that I'm looking for. I like to have the luxury of owning things, being able to go out, use different plates, but there is a limitation that's where the line draws and that's where we got to make the separation of understanding minimalism versus uh, simplism or however you want to word it. And that's where I want to go. I have been trying to do this for a long time and I think there are steps that is placed in into our uh, we could place into our daily life and daily habits to kind of counteract the everyday things that we used to do and uh, learn what is it that we want and how is it that we want to go about it. And the first step, that's, that's where the question comes and that what's the first step that I should take into becoming a minimalist? It's uh, truly based on you and the things that you use the most. So the first step for me is my phone. My phone right now, it's a clutter of application, pages after pages, folder after folders uh, of application that I don't really use. So later in this video, I'm gonna go inside of my phone, delete some of the application that I don't use and uh, the place that you have to start is that you have to look around you and see what is it that you use the most and how is it that you want to start. You can't become a simplest or a minimalist overnight. It's, it's a process and it has a getting used to uh, attitude that you have to get used to. It's just like if you are a meat lover and suddenly decide to become a vegetarian, it doesn't happen overnight. It's not going to happen certainly. Uh, within a small span of time. But if we focus our time and then if we take it one step at a time, I think that's, that's where we can have it. So let's, let's start my process. I'm gonna jump inside of my phone. I have 18% battery left. So going inside of my phone, as you can see, I have multiple pages of stuff that I don't really use. And it's just, it's too much. So let's start from page one. What is it that I don't use? I have never used this app for a long time. I used to use it. This is an app that you could track your uh, eating habit. Uh, that was that was certainly a time that I, there was certainly a time that I used it, but I don't use it anymore. I use Safari. I use the clock. That's uh, always in there. I use photo. USAA is where I bank with Instagram. I definitely use an app store has to be in there. Doesn't have to be in the first page. So we're gonna move it down to the next page. And then we can look at it later. We're focusing one page at a time. 
uh, Nest Cam, I use it to keep track of my dog, set temperature, and Tesla for my car, I have to have it. Facebook, yeah. Uh, store card is an application that stores all of your cards. Don't really use it, so I'm gonna delete it. Uh, YouTube count, I'll, I'll have that because I keep track of my YouTube and what's going on. Deliveries, yes, uh, and YouTube music. Delivery is an application that I track of my packages that are coming to me. Again, the point of minimalism, it's not being completely uh, stripped away from the stuff that gives you uh, happiness. I had a friend, I was watching a video and then it was telling the story of a person who said that I love my books and my books gives me pleasure. I like to go to clubs and talk to people about my books. I like to read them. Well, if that gives you pleasure, then keep your books. Same as the application. If it serves a purpose, then by all means, keep it and uh, use it over and over. There is no limitation. I don't use fax. I don't know when was the last time that I used it. Uh, Hue Lights is another app that I use why is it trying to make a folder? So we bring that behind Nest. Uh, smart line. Don't use this phone as my business line, so I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna install my business phone. Dash lane. I get rid of that. I got rid of Dash lane, and I start using one password for my managing all my passwords. So files, books has to be in there. Truebill just keeps track of my spending habit and password. So first page done. We got it. Uh, we're gonna move to the next page. Shortcut, it's another app that I use. It's just basically you set up shortcuts to work around uh, making things easy for yourself. When it comes to finance, uh, I think all of these apps are necessary and uh, they help me organize my stuff. So I'm gonna take Truebill and I'm gonna drag it and drop it inside of finance. Same goes with my USAA. Now, another cons another aspect of being a minimalist is being able to organize and manage your stuff and make it simple. So right now, my first page looks much simpler than it did before, and it looks much more organized. So let's go to finance. Uh, we have Wells Fargo, American Express, Credit Karma, Discover, Capital One, PayPal, Karma, Capital, Credit One, Barclay, T-Mobile, Wallet, Vimo, don't really use Vimo, Wireless, Verizon, use it, Macy's, don't know why I have it, USAA, Synchrony Back, Firm, Coinbase, I don't even, I don't even remember what it is. And that's pretty much it. So now let's go to social. Now in our social, we have the social application that I use. I don't know why a music player is here. So we go to social, Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, podcast, Zumudu. I don't use it. LinkedIn jobs. Don't use it. Hopefully I won't need it. Facebook page, we we'll leave it. Patreon, we we'll leave it. Ancestry, we we'll leave it. Telegram, Reddit, Tumblr, Tumblr. don't use it anymore. So now we could go back here, grab Instagram, put it in social, go back here, grab Facebook, put it in social, and that's where it's gonna sit. Right, Uber Drive, don't use it. Lyft, don't ride with Lyft. Southwest, okay, we'll keep it. Ticketing, don't use it. Park Mobile, nope. Boston Park, nope map okay geico mobile see it's just getting rid of stuff that you really don't need and use and these are stuff that i have used previously so and i used it maybe once one day or so and then i deleted it i never used it again shopping let's go to shopping now that we become the minimalist Let's get rid of all the shopping apps that are useless. Amazon Prime now, Starbucks will keep it. REI Co-ops, we don't need it. Bed Bath & Beyond, I have a membership in there. So I'm gonna keep it. Let's put it on the first page. Go back. 
and uh, that looks much more cleaner and much more organized and that's my shopping folder automation it's where the automation of my house happens so pretty much i need uh, all of it but let's see what i haven't used for a while yeah i kind of need all of this stuff because this is where everything in my house gets automated and it's connected to it so automation we're not gonna touch it games i only have two games clash of clan and clash royale so we'll keep that business nano leaf i think this should go to automation Uh, Melchamp, my business, Google Ad, GoDaddy, YouTube, Analytic, Constant Contact. I don't use Constant Contact anymore. Stripe, UPS Report Plus, DocSign. I use it sometimes. It's good to have it. Never store cards. Salesforce, I don't use it anymore. And that's pretty much all that is for business. Now for medical, I have all of my medical app inside of a folder we'll keep it the way it is because this is i use it actually drafts i don't use it blink list i don't even know what it is so i'm going to delete it firefox i don't need it teleprompter don't use it wahoo element that again goes inside of ride calendar i have my Outlook calendar, so I don't really need it. Tesla remote helps me control my car without actually being in my car. Splitwise, don't really need it. Google and Yelp can go inside of Ride. Slides, don't need it. Radio Javon, it's a music player, so we're gonna put this on the third page. Now, DJI Fly, I think that should be inside of entertainment. Cards, don't really use it, don't use it. Nope. Productivity. Weather, calendar, watch. Ah, let HP Smart be. Don't use that contact voice memo farsi calendar i don't know when was the last time that i used it farsi tap i use it compass let it be there education gre i don't use that anymore text grabber nope flashcard don't remember the last time i used flashcard notability okay kindle okay pdf expert sure math bay i don't i don't do math anymore I'm done with doing math, thank God. And Dropbox. Now, when it comes to music, I'm gonna put this right here and let's go inside of it. Video, Post Connect, don't have that anymore. These are the subscription that I have, Amazon Music. Certainly one of it, but I have never used it. Entertainment. Musicianly, before you fly, we don't need it. OneDrive goes to education. Photo and video, Ronan, DJI store, color, and call filter, let it be there. Dear reader, no. Jackpot, nope. Receipt bag. I sometimes keep my receipts. So this should go inside of finance. Cheap order. Forest receipt. Slack goes inside of social. And Skillshare is something that I use all the time. So it comes down here. And productivity. Productivity, 
and this one goes to automation since that's the purpose that it does. goes inside automation social photo and video are kind of an internet entertainment but oh look at that photo and video they were hiding layout don't need it never use the app it's been a long time Splash. And that's it. Entertainment. That goes to... Photo and video. So now we have find me that goes to productivity. I think these two are supposed to go to automation. I could simply search for them and then find them whenever I need it. Music, it's supposed to go inside of music. See, there is one folder that is extra, and that's games. So because I don't want it to be filling, I want to take it as much as I can. So we have finance, social, ride, shopping. Shopping. Yeah, I need the shopping. Uh, automation, business, medical, productivity, education, music. Let's call this... entertainment so this is so far what i have now file can also go inside education i think because that's the thing that i use the file app for if i have i'm going to take it from another application these are uh, the one that i use most oftenly we bring books right here one password the only time that i use it is when I want to get something so I know what it is so I'm gonna take it and place it inside productivity actually let's put it inside of business because that's the th thing that I use one password because for my business uh, I have sh crazy passwords so that's it so minimalist let's now edit here Shortcuts, I don't want it to be here. Why can't I don't want it to be here? Bad up next, don't want it to be here. Screen time, don't want it to be here. Done. And that's it. That's all that I need. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something that I have to get used to. There is a lot of other apps here that I don't really use. And over time, I'm going to go through them and I'm going to delete them as time goes. I am not going to attack my life suddenly and take everything out of it because then I will be overwhelmed and it's not going to go anywhere. It's just like getting a diet and going on a diet. If you stop every single food, every single high calorie food that you have been eating for all of your life, suddenly you stop everything. You're not going to probably you're not going to accomplish what you wanted to do. It's about moderation and knowing what you need, what you want and what is necessary for you and then going that route. This is the route that I chose and I hope you guys liked it. Now this is going to be a new series that I'm going to call it minimalism, uh, a, a lifestyle. 
that I chose to follow. And then in the next series, we're gonna go through my all of my apartment, my house that I have, and then starting with my office, to my closet, to my room, uh, to my living room, kitchen, and then we're gonna take things out and we're gonna decide if it's something that we really actually need or if, it, if something that we have is something that is too much. As always, see you on the next one.